my family and my homie Kane went to the Belgian Ardenne to enjoy the beautiful nature. And one of the main reasons why we actually wanted to go there was of course because it snowed. And I gotta tell you, the views, the scenery was absolutely amazing. I really was wondering to myself like, are we in Belgium or are we in Lapland or something? I mean, it was really, really crazy. And the fact that my brother and his wife brought their two huskies also added to the whole image of us being in Lapland. Because I didn't want to be antisocial during a family trip, I didn't vlog. So the gear that I brought with me was the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Oh god, I love this thing. And the Fuji X100P. I didn't want to bring too much gear on this trip because I didn't want to lug around everything and like hold up the family for like switching lenses and all that kind of stuff. And also recently I've been enjoying to bring less and less gear whenever I go out to shoot something, to capture something because I feel like this allows me to be more in the moment and to actually focus on creating. I took lots of horizontal photos because I've recently been really enjoying these and I personally feel that horizontal photos usually, not always, look better than vertical photos. So please don't just only shoot vertical photos just for the sake of Instagram. And something else that I've been recently doing is I started adding black borders to my photos because this allows me more flexibility in the type of photos and in the type of crops that I want to make in my photos to post on Instagram. And honestly, I really like the black framing around my photos because I feel like it adds some cinematic touch to them. And a lot of people add white borders to their photos and I really like those as well, but I'm more of a dark mode type of guy, so. I'm really glad that my brother's dogs were there because they kind of were the main subject of the day. The white one is vanilla and she's really beautiful, but eyes just capture so beautifully on camera, probably because his colors are more contrasty and his blue eyes also help a lot. And <laughs> keep in mind that this little big boy is only five months old, so he's gonna become a real tank. It was also super fun to see the dogs having fun all day long because they were super excited. And we also had the idea to put them in front of the sled and to carry the kids yeah, in the snow. So that was pretty fun to see as well. I really enjoy making these kind of sets with white frames because I feel like they tell a better story. Because you have multiple images in one single frame. This allows the mind to think more about the different sequences that yeah, that you went through. And I also feel like wider frames just look more cinematic. A perfect example of this is a cinematic video that I shot on the Siri T 2.9 35mm anamorphic lens. If you're interested in that video, it's really cinematic because it's really wide. <laughs> you can check it out over here. By the way, if you want to achieve similar color grades, you can check out my link in the description below in which you can get my Lightroom presets. And I also share a $99 valued Lightroom tutorial for free in there and I also give away two presets on my page. So if you want to support your boy, check out the link in the description below. My fiance looked really cute on the photos as well, especially with eyes on there with snow on his nose. <laughs>
I'm really excited about the video footage as well because the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is a little beast. The fact that it can shoot 10-bit D-Log M is just absolutely insane. The fact that this camera fits in your pocket. If you want to see a whole cinematic video on this DJI Osmo Pocket 3, check out my video on it over here. But honestly, I really love this thing and I really take this camera everywhere with me together with my tiny Lumix LX3 or my Fuji X100V. The only thing that I don't like is the fact that I bought free well variable ND mist filters and the vignetting is pretty heavy on these ones so I had to correct that in post. Here you can see a little before and after for anyone that's interested. Every time I go out in nature, I tell myself to do it more often. But the most beautiful places are in the Belgian Ardennes. But it's like a one and a half hour to two hour drive. And I don't really enjoy driving that long, so I don't go enough over there. But honestly, it's time to change that. By the way, I had a Tiffin Glimmer Glass 1 attached to my Fuji X100V, which gave this subtle glowing effect. And if you'd like to see a review on this Tiffin Glimmer Glass 1, which is basically a softer black pro mist filter, you can check out my review over here. And with the software I mean a more subtle version of the black pro mist filter. And this photo really looks terrible because it looks like Ice was trying to hurt Vanilla, but they were just playing around. <laughs> And these are really funny because Vanilla loves to be carried around like a little baby. So we put her on the sled and she really enjoyed it. I obviously couldn't go home without finding a single tree and a nice composition of that tree. I first found this composition and even though it's pretty decent already, I felt like it was still too busy in the background. But then I found this composition of which I was happier with. And after a while, while we were on our way back, it became really misty all of a sudden. So super moody, super cool conditions, and this gave this really eerie vibe. I'm really glad that we went to the Belgian Ardenna back that day because the photos I got, even though I say it myself, were absolutely stunning. And I personally don't feel like I missed something because I didn't take my Lumix S5 Mark II with me. I really enjoyed not having to think about which kind of lenses I had to use. And I'm also super excited about the photos that I got with the Fuji X100V because that just goes to show that you don't necessarily need a full frame camera. But I'm going to return it. <laughs> and now you're probably like, bruh, why? And that's because next month the new version is coming and I was still in the return window. So lucky me and I've heard some rumors that this camera is going to have IBIS, a 40 megapixel sensor and yeah, there are probably going to come more rumors until the launch event of Fuji, which is on February 22nd, I think. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you'll probably enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. Khan, out. Peace.